Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. As you can see, we are in Ho Chi Minh in Vietnam. We're still here. It's been about a month since we got here and uh, we are just absolutely loving living in Saigon. I can't tell you how happy we are to be here. And before we delve into this week's episode, we're gonna show you just a little bit about what we've been up to and kind of our lives when we're not filming at the factory. So hopefully you enjoy that. After that, we are going to the factory. This is actually the current Seawind factory. So where they make the 1160s and the 1260s and the 1600 uh, models and the eagle-eyed months you have noticed that the last few episodes we've been at a different factory that they're still in the process of setting up that will be where the 1370s are being built anyway today we are doing something super exciting I can't wait we are going to go and take a look at the mock-ups for the cabinetry and the furniture that are going to go into the sea wind 1370 so we're going to get a chance to see how you know the designers and the carpenters have actually worked together to come up with the furniture and to actually do the mock-ups to, to see what they're going to do in real life as opposed to just like in theory so it's going to be really exciting really interesting Nick is like pumped uh, we can't wait come along with us I hope you guys enjoyed this episode don't forget to subscribe and uh, without further ado let's get going It's not a restaurant, it's not a cafe, it's basically street food. We come here probably two or three times a week. The food is phenomenal. And we sit here, so this is Ok, ok Nien, a um, family run restaurant. They've got like two burners and a little grill. They knock everything up. They call them mud snails. But I don't know, I mean, they definitely are snail like. <laughs> and this, this comes with corn. So we haven't tried this dish yet, and so it gives us a chance to try it. So, Nick, how is it? Beautiful. Is it? Beautiful. Sweet. Balance is great. How does she do this without putting it in Hot will call if greedy will wait. <laughs> Here we go. Can you see this? Yeah. Nice one, man. Chewy. They're nice. I mean, I have to get my head around eating a snail, but they taste good. Living in Saigon isn't all about feasting on exotic seafood, of course. Sometimes it's also about eating tropical desserts. In a nutshell, it's coconut and mango. Or sampling the best banh mi in Saigon. I like the pate, really nice pate, and I really like the pork floss. <laughs> okay, sometimes we do things other than just eat amazing Vietnamese cuisine. Heading to the Siwin factory, of course, is something else we do regularly. So this is, we're in a, another one of Seawind's factories. They have three factories. And what uh, Shane and Seawind have done, they've done a mock-up of a lot of the cabinetry that's gonna go into the 1370. So um, I know this is like super nerdy for you all, but this is a look at woodwork, wood finishing, the things that are gonna stop the squeaks, like looking, you know, from if you've looked at our, our reviews of catarans, you'll see how much we worked on quality of catches, quality of woodwork, I'm going to kind of press Shane on the finish they're going to use for the 1370 because I don't think they're using a varnish, which is going to be super interesting for those of you interested in how like furniture and cabinetry goes together. So Shane, tell us everything, mate. What we've got here is our mock-up station. So we've got uh, pieces of the furniture, the molded furniture, cut into segments and laid around this area. So our timberwork team can now start taking our drawings and creating the furniture and fitting them in and, and you know, turning that, that 3D model into a reality and actually making sure that it fits everything properly. So there's always some discrepancy between a, a, what you see on a screen and when you actually produce a part. So the guys are now coming in and then looking at, okay, well, that's how it's built and how can we build that better? How can we build this in and really get that nestled into these parts properly? So that's why we've got all these, these parts around. We'll just start looking through some of the equipment. Now this, this here is, uh, this is obviously underneath the workbench. This actually isn't going to be here. This is just a sample to see the style of the door and so we can you know, okay. just physically see how, the, how it functions and how, how it's styled. Ah, I love stuff like this. So that's all milled aluminium? 
Yeah. yeah. And that has recessed into the door. So rather than having the push button flashes on the front, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got this little, because all the doors have this styling in, this, this styling line, which you'll see on the renders. Uh, and so we're using that then to incorporate this uh, push button latch. I'm not blowing smoke up your ass, but the fact that you've made it all out, they're all one piece aluminium, really does, yeah. Ooh, yeah. yes. Yes, yes, so, yes. So basically this zone that we're in is kind of where the, the uh, interior designers, naval architects and the timber craftsmen get together to say, okay, well this is what we've designed and then you've got a you know, 30 year, 30 year experienced carpenter saying, nope, 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 that's, that doesn't work. And so that, this is the area where they get together and they, take that, they work out how to get that end result, but actually build it and you know, how to make it. So, that's what we're doing here. So, so some of the things that we're looking at here will be the finished product. Some of them are just ideas that we're testing out. Okay. So here we've got the steps up to, this is so just for, for uh, a sense of where we are, this is the starboard forward cabin. Yep. This is the four aft uh, double bed up yep. here. So we'd be standing where I am now, we'd be standing in the, uh, in the walkway. Yep. A little bit squashed here because we've cut off the middle, but coming through the door of the main bulkhead here. So we've got a main bulkhead here. I'll be coming through the door, getting into this area. And then we've got our steps and access onto the bed. So obviously this is a crucial area for ergonomics, which is why we've mocked this area up to make sure we get it right. So we've got steps. Again, I'm a little bit squashed here. I should be standing in the middle of the walkway, but I'll take one step up. Uh, we've got another step and we can get on access to the bed. We've also in this process, thought about, okay, well, yeah, there is a bit of height between here, so we're, we're adding on, and again, this is just a, a mock-up, not the final final product, but we're gonna add on a, um, a stainless rail with a, a leather trim, just to give you a little bit of sense of protection, so if you're, if you're getting rolling around, you've got something to nudge up against and not roll off. Because obviously on top of here, the mattress will sit higher than this fiddle. This fiddle locks in the mattress. Okay. You've got access up there, and then you've got your cupboards here, so you've got, uh, this is again just a small mock-up piece, but there'll be doors here and storage in here. Okay, and that's obviously you've got this. Yes, yeah, so that's the design. That's what the, that's how the designers think it should be built. And then we've got the carpenters coming on and saying, okay, trying to build that and then adjusting it where they feel it needs to be. Okay. Yeah, very, 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 very impressive. Oh, I like it. Honestly, it's, it is his boat porn, and it's yeah. and it's extreme. This is the starboard midships. So this is the this is the cabinetry on the inboard side. So there's a an open um, shelving here. So there's a, a shelf with a fiddle around here. Um, there's electronics behind that, which is accessible from the uh, saloon. And then we've got more storage below here, uh, which will either be storage or uh, I think if the AC C zone is selected, the AC C zone yep. uh, units are located in there. So the, uh, that, that's, that's the, uh, the main bulkhead. The, the main bulkhead, so the, 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 the berth is there, the, the yeah. guest cabin so is there. The cabin yeah. we were just in is, yep. is okay. there. Beautiful. This is the uh, companionway. Again, don't worry about the uh, shape yep, yep. and the size at the moment. That was just an idea that was put in place. I think we're going to have a more traditional straight steps. Yep. Um, but then obviously you've also got your escape panel through there, so these steps will be this step will be removable yep. so you can get in through there. And then coming back here again, some open storage here. Um, the, the galley, the deck and the galley actually comes up to about that point. So, right. so there's not much space there, we're using it for just some, just some additional storage, but below here there is storage. And we've also got the, just in for styling, we're overhanging this, this, these units. So what you'll see in the, in the walkway, you have your flooring here. Yep and you'll have the white gel coat there, and then you have this, this cabinetry, which actually looks like it's floating. Okay, yep. So you've got and a kicker, basically, under here. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. This is complete mock-up, so this is not, nothing that nothing that's to scale or anything, but it's just an idea to get a sense of like how we're doing the timber the finishes and timber yep. work and things like that, in general sense. Okay, so the, tim the, the countertop's gonna have a fiddle, something like this. So um, what, what are we looking at here? Yeah, this is just a galley. It's not an actual part of something on a boat. It's just to try out a few different things. Okay. So, for instance, um, wait, right. Okay, there we go. This is just where we were just trying to get the styling and you know, things like this and just see how it would all look. So yep. this is your drawer, obviously we don't have the, the fitting in there, we probably pinched it for that one, but yep. this is a drawer, it'll have that push 
Glad you have this, the soft the slide. So all soft clothes. Yep. Solid aluminium. Yeah. Like milled aluminium. I love milled aluminium. You've got, ah, there's one here, so you've got the button there. Okay. Um, and this is the, uh, the cockpit breakfast, breakfast bar. bar. And this is how we're going to finish that. So obviously, not to scale, but in general sense. This now, is, is it going to be wood or corian or not to be, yeah, um, to so be determined? What we're actually going to do is, because it's a, it is still a cockpit, right? Yep. It's a wet area. So we're going to do this lower face in composite. Yep. So it's going to be white like that. Yep. And we're going to do the table in timber. So we've still got the contrasting colors, yep. but it's not obviously at the, at the ground level. We're not going to get any rot in it. Yep. Um, so you've got the gel cut there. So from the cockpit, you'll see this sort of style. Not, I think, uh, excluding these edges, but you'll see the white, white gel cut at the bottom. The table will have a probably something better than a screw <laughs> to pull it out. Yeah, they're just mock-ups, right? Yeah, yeah mock up. Just and then your table comes up here, and that's your breakfast bar. Solid ply, nine ply, seven ply, soft closed drawers. And this is all, I take it, this is milled, uh, you mill this here, it's, it's CNC yeah. milled, yeah? Nice. Things that I like, and this is that we talk about this a lot, I like the fact that there's no finger traps. You know, we talk a lot about these catches, that like you do need to make sure that you're not get, making a finger trap, and again, fiddles. Like, I know that it's a bit nerdy, but like a good fiddle, there's nothing wrong with a good fiddle. Is there, Shane? <laughs> so look, this is just our, our general 1600 timber work area. Um, so we've got some guys working with some equipment here. So most of the timber work is, um, you see here actually, we've got a, a, a hardwood frame and then we'll put a core inside this. Yep. So we'll put a, either a honeycomb or a foam core in there and then we'll seal it off. So we get, we get the, 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 just like when we were in the boat, we get the structure and stiffness by, by making the panel thick, but we're filling that with a lightweight material. So this gives you something to screw into, it gives yep. you something to put the hinges into and bite into, um, and it gives you some strength, but the, the, the foam core panel goes in there and makes it quite light. Um, again, most of this then is, is a, a thin plywood finish, so it's a, uh, I think this is like a three mil plywood finish, yep. and then we put uh, veneer finish over yep. the sides. Um, what we're looking at here is the 1600 uh, timber work, which is a uh, it's an oak with a um, veneered finish. Oh, uh, sorry, a, a varnish finish. On the 1370, we'll be using a Croatian ash with a, an oil. What does Croatian ash look like, mate? It actually looks very similar to this. Okay. Um, it's basically it's a reconstituted uh, veneer. So, okay. and most reconstituted veneers look very similar in terms of the grain yep. because it's a, it's a an engineered grain. Yeah. So they're they're, lam they're laminating the plies and then splitting them and joining them all together. So you get that. Yeah. And the reason to do that is we initially looked at using a natural veneer, which is very beautiful and it's very natural. And some people like that. But the downside to it is you get discrepancy. You get knots. You get yeah. One panel is yellow, one's white. Yeah. And so you have a bulkhead with two pieces of veneer butted up against each yeah. other, and it looks wrong. It looks like it's broken. It's not broken. It's actually natural, but yeah. it's not the look we're going for. We're, go we're going for a sort of consistency. So to get the consistency, we go to an engineered veneer, which you get the same sort of look as this. The reason we're going for the Croatian ash uh, over this is because it has a little bit more of a when we when when oiled, it's a little more of a natural. Uh, color. So okay. We chose that for the color rather than which is very similar, but slightly uh, more uniform. Okay. More, okay. Yeah. Cool. Honestly, cabinetry catches. It's very, very important to us, and for the long-term kind of suitability of a liverboard, we have to kind of concentrate on this stuff and make sure that the 1370 that Ruby Rose 2 is exactly what we want her to be. We are super happy with everything we've seen so far and it just makes us even more excited for the future. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. There's going to be a lot more boat building over the coming months. So if you like what you see, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again next week. Goodbye.